everybody. It's Sergeant Soldier. It's time for another incoming. Hey everybody, it's Sergeant Soldier and welcome to another incoming. Uh, we've got my mortar and my little world peacekeepers cannon out. Love this thing. Got that, that swivel, that thing, that thing turns. It's kind of cool. And I'm really happy with the uh, plastic, non-firing, you know, goob tube right there. Uh, I love mortars. Uh, this is a good buy from Zukov's Attic. Shout out to Zukov's Attic. Get that Gorilla Glue out of the way. Um, so, you know, stay tuned. And when, well, we're, we'll get started here in a second. I'm going to move the um, artillery pieces out of the way and, uh, you know, kind of back out a little bit here. We got some big stuff coming up. So uh, stay tuned. All right, we had to back way up here. What is this, you ask? It is a flower planter that I found that looks a whole lot like one of the pylons from the Land of the Lost, and I brought in my Will and Holly figures, also my sister Brandy. Hello, Brandy. Anyway, um, here they are. They've got their... I got a four-sided dice that I'm going to paint up. It's going to be a Skylon. And, uh, yeah, I found this thing. I might I might get some help from Jim Egner to make the little diamond door and maybe the platform for the crystals inside. And, uh, you know, kind of that bigger on the inside kind of thing. But this thing is huge. You see it's at least almost 20 inches tall i believe but it's you know tapered at the top and all that got a little work to do but you know it's gonna paint up gold i'm going to uh spray spray prime it black and then spray it gold and then uh get some you know uh what do you call it relief raised um probably you know maybe styrene i might use but something to match it up with the TV show. And it came in uh, yesterday, finally, in a big old box. Anyway, uh, that's part one. I'll see y'all in a minute. We got more. Hey, everybody. We got a live incoming. And uh, I'm here with Jim Edgar up at the Fredonia Hotel. Say hello, Jim. Howdy, everybody. How and, doing? and go ahead and pull, pull that Bandai thing out. This is your <laughs> avatar. It is a Bandai. It's, this thing is going to be so much fun to put on. <laughs> anyway, that's about all we got. Oh, oh, show me what you brought. Oh, okay. Pull, uh, pull them out. A few, few things here. Uh, here's a uh, tripod for the, uh, um, oh. well, a desert uh, patrol attack right. jeep, I guess. Okay. Um, there's the antenna. Uh. Um, and then here's... Uh, a baggie of the uh, laser adapters, and there's one that's got the scope on it. Oh, so I want you to so proof that, that for me. Live. Look at that. That's the very first vision of the yep. scoped scope version. Yep. Version of the laser pointer pistol grip. Yep. And now, now it's going to be all Han Solo. So that's that's like uh, 3.0. Uh, yeah, that's the 3.0. Yeah, it's version. basically a 3.0. What I've done. Yep. Look at that, Greg. <laughs> Look at that. I know you're watching Greg Brown over at Cotswold. That is really cool. And we got and these. We got them with beefier handles. Yep. And they'll be heading Batting your way this up. afternoon in the mail. All right. Yep. All right. That's the, uh, okay, that's incoming for today. We're here with the Nacogdoches G.I. Joe Collectors Club, all two of us. <laughs> Me, Sergeant Soldier, and Jim Egner. Say hi. All right, that was great. Hey. Hey, everybody. Sergeant Soldier. We're back here in the, uh, home studio and I'm uh, standing here with uh, my Bushido Joe Cobra Kai and he has gotten himself a pair of new hands he had a fist and a, and a uh, action hand 
and now he has two action hands. I got a new base in. He's able to hold it, but the uh, the new base came and the, and the strap was broken. Um, I'm gonna have to do something about uh, fixing that now. Let me see if we got that in camera here. It came, that end is fine, but that end is broken. And I'm gonna have to probably use a paper clip or something like that to you know, attach it to the base so it can be kind of strapped on and held. I um, uh, got some highlights from the uh, cost. It, we're here, we're gonna do a cost wall thing and we got some eBay stuff too. But I got a pearl handle pistol for my Perkins. And I love this, and I've got a holster on the way. Um, so, let's put that there. Next up, from Cotswold. Oh, this thing is huge. It's a big chainsaw, one six scale chainsaw. I love having this. I'm gonna actually paint this green. It's gonna go for my uh, so uh, 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 Greenberry Outpost set, Vietnam Outpost set that I'm building. Uh, along with Jim, and uh, let me see what we got here. We got these from Cotswold. You know, you can add these for free when you check out, and I believe it's about five of them. And it's got some really cool stuff. You know, supplies, HQ, HQ division, and that's a folder, so it's you know visible from both directions. Motor pool, fuel point. I, th I think that is so neat that they have those and i'm going to get more for sure but these were great i love hq that's going to be great all right when we get to the more of the coswell stuff we're going to switch over to something great i was watching just watching uh blade runner and we have a harrison ford head sculpt and oh i've been trying to cheat and I ordered a nice, uh, like, dragon German uh, shirt, and it doesn't go on. His shoulders are too wide. So, back to the drawing board, but I have females that this will fit. And so, that's going to go into that. I got one of these bodies off of Amazon, and it comes with the kind of flippy feet and I've been wondering if they would fit into some boots that I got off of eBay that are going to be his his boots and they do they do slip in there and they do snap in if I get the right boot on but he's going to have that somewhere in here and he'll get dressed when I finally find that's a nice head sculpt it comes with an adapter that I believe is going to have to be glued on so that it'll stay. But I'm waiting until I can get a nice white shirt and then I want to have a vest. And I have some marine pants with the red stripes somewhere around here. And I put them somewhere I, where I wouldn't forget them. And lo and behold, they disappeared on me. So I don't know where they are. But All right. We got some more from Cotswold that I want to show off. Um, we got, um, a bunch of figures, and uh, he knew, uh, Greg and them knew where I was going with this. I had ordered three heads, and to go with action hand bodies, and they went ahead and, and put them on. You can see the three different, um, let's call them Asian, man, men of Asia. And uh, he put them all on for me because I'm going to be going for, uh, let me see. I'll just show this off first. This is bag full of uh, green web gear for my uh, Special Forces Vietnam Outpost. It's got a lot of canteen covers, a couple of Claymore mine bags, some uh, OD web belts and just all the goodies you need. Uh, oh, uh, first aid pouches for all of them. There's five or six in there. And a uh, pretty hefty order for that uh, purpose for those, those two 
Claymore mine bags. I'm, we, we're going to be 3D printing some Claymore mines at some point to be part of the kit. And uh, meanwhile, I'm ordering some Claymores off of Zukov's attic. I only need a couple of them um, with wire and clacker and all that. But I, uh, you know, the men of Asia are going for them. I'm building. I know it's shorts, but a commander with uh, a lot of Chaikom equipment. He's gonna have a black shoulder bag, a uh, black web belt. Looks like a, I'm gonna have a Chaikom canteen and all that. Um, this one has a long sleeve shirt, shorts, everything you need, AK-47. I'm ordering a uh, chest rigs for them. I'm ordering like a signal pistol and uh, some kind of, you know, uh, captured Japanese or, or uh, Chaikom kind of pistol to go with him and maybe uh, 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 like a submachine gun or a PPSH or something like that that he carries, but like radio equipment. Or I might go with uh, like an engineer kind of figure with a shovel and a uh, he carries all the rice bags and, and all that kind of stuff like that. I'm adding on. Um, I believe the third one is, yeah, here it is. Uh, uh, this one, you can see the poke out. He's got the boonie cap, and he's got the uh, uh, kerchief that they wear, the scarf that they wear, that checkered scarf. And they'll all be getting one from Zukov's attic pretty soon here. Um, all right, uh, let me see what else I have. I showed off that. Showed off that. Oh, oh, here's a big addition to my collection. Man, it is. From Cotswold, a pair of uh, Komodo dragons for my Johnny Quest team. Uh, they're adversaries. Uh, there's an episode where they uh, have chains around them and then control them like they're a pair of bloodhounds or something. And then, uh, you know, I'm going through this kind of quick, but I want to show off one last item uh, that Greg sent kind of special. And I'm, I'm wondering if it's like well, something he does for his vendors or something like that. But he sent me a pair of these. Two of these. It's a Leap Brigade on the front. Open it up. Leap Force. And you open it up. And it's a watch. And a pair of large, like, two to one <laughs> dog tags in scale. Uh, about twice or four times of what the what a real one is. They're real big, they're cool, man, I like them. And it's kind of like the, it looks like you're wearing life-size dog tags as a G.I. Joe. But the, look, let me get the close up in there, of what that says and, and is. And uh, yeah, I can't do it that way. Cause the, they'll, they'll slide, but get, get a close up there. There you go. And, uh, uh, Greg told me the you know the they've been sitting for about 20 years <laughs> and so the batteries are probably dead and I'm gonna have to turn them around and figure out how to do that but thank you Greg these are so cool and they will be worn on on uh, special occasions for sure once I get the batteries uh, back in we're gonna be rocking and rolling uh, I got two of them and uh, Jim Egner didn't get summer to have one I'm gonna make sure he gets one of those. Shout out to Jim Egner, TK560, right here in town. And we uh, just met at lunch. And, uh, yeah, it was a good one. Another good haul from Jim. Another uh, off-camera uh, idea building that we're doing of things that are going to be upcoming and what he wants to do. Anyway, that's uh, going to be incoming number 15. We sure are sure glad y'all joined us. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.